hello everyone in today's video we're going over the dividend that i received for the month of august and uh, dividend are uh, a portion of a company profit that is paid to a shareholder and dividend can be paid monthly semi-annually quarterly or annually depend of the company and how much you get depend of on how many shares that you have yeah, so uh, if you are new here, my name is Jenny and on the channel, I do budget with me, cast stuffing, saving challenges, investing and more. If you have interest on any of this topic, please consider subscribing and joining my YouTube family. I will absolutely love to have you here. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. I appreciate all the support and don't forget to like and comment. Yeah. So uh, first, uh, we're going to do uh, for my uh, Fidelity Government Money Market for my taxable account and August 31st, I received 1.2. And uh, this money is like when I transfer money from my checking account to my brokerage account before I invest the money. The money stay in the Fidelity Money Market and I get some interest slash dividend. And that's the only thing that I receive in my taxable account. Next for my uh, Wolf IRA, which is also at Fidelity, and August 1st, from me TNT, I receive uh, 10.25. And August 15th, from Mentorship Capital, my Wolf IRA, I made uh, $2.11. August 15th again, from Wealthy Income, I receive $4.62. And uh, main suit capital and uh, wealthy income, they pay dividend monthly, AT&T pay dividend quarterly. Next, uh, August 20 from Delta, I made $2.01. August 21st from Postfest Capital, I made $1.9. August uh, 31st from Fidelity Government Money Market, I received $1.25. On the uh, same day from Starbucks, I received $3.3. So uh, AT&T was the most that I received in my Wolf IRA for the month of August and my uh, Fidelity Government Money Market was the least amount that I received. And when we add everything, so 10 to 25, oops, so you guys can see, 10 to 25 plus 2.11 plus 4.62 plus 2.01 plus 1.9 1.9 plus 1.25 plus 3.3 so in my wolf i weigh in the month of august i made 25 dollars point 44 cents let me know in the comment section if you already went over your dividend for the month of august and how much did you receive? So like our August, it's, it's a slow month for me, but September is gonna be a good month. So I'm excited for the end of this month to know how much I'm gonna get. Next, we're gonna do my traditional IRA. So in Fidelity, I have both Wolf IRA and a traditional IRA. And uh, August 15, from Apple, I made 2.75. And August 31st, from Fidelity Government Money Market, 2.99 and this is the only two dividend that i receive in my uh, traditional ira 2.99 so i made a total of five dollars point seventy four cents which is a good i mean i love dividend investing because it's an extra you know additional income that you will get but even though most of my stocks are in company that doesn't pay dividend next we're gonna do my work over IRA, and this one is uh, now for my uh, old job i had the 401k and then like when i and then i transfer that 401k to an uh world over IRA. and august 1st from cvs i receive uh 13.78 and why not cvs is like way down I was like looking at my CVS, I'm like 30% down. And then Walgreens, I'm 60% down. Meaning I paper, I lose like, already lose 60% of the money that I invested. Meaning if I have bought 1,000 for Walgreens, why not the value is like 400? But I'm not selling. So uh, August 1st, 
from Verizon, I received eight dollars and sixty three. In August uh, thirty first, from Fidelity Government Money Market, I made two point fifty three. So CVS is the most that I receive. So we so thirteen. Oops, thirteen point seventy eight plus eight point sixty three plus 2.53 that's 24.94 that i made in my rollover ira if you're still watching and you haven't yet please like comment subscribe because that will really help the channel oh and this tracker is from uh this digital world i will put the link of her channel in the description in case you want to get this tracker as well uh, next for my HSA in uh, August 31st, I received uh, 10.19. And August 31st for my Vanguard taxable account, I made 1.25. And right now I'm only having uh, my money in Fidelity and Vanguard. I had M1 Finance, but I close it when they start charging $3 platform fees. There is like no way I was going to pay $3 platform fees. So I, especially since not only i did not have a lot of money on my m1 finance but also why i need to pay fee when i can get the same service at fidelity or vanguard for free so does that make sense yeah so uh next let's do the total and see how much i have made for the month of august so my fidelity taxable account 1.2 plus 25.24 plus 5.74 plus 24.94 plus 10.19 plus 1.25 for, for so for the month of august i had made a total of 68 dollars point 76 cents which is good, right? There's like a lot of things that I can do with 68.76 cents. And like I mentioned, this is like just additional income. So, which is why I love dividend investing. And I cannot wait for September because I'm now I will make more than that. I'm hoping September maybe double this yeah so uh thank you so much for watching let me know in the comment section about your dividend for the month of august if you already went over your dividend for the month of august let me know how was your august and i will see you in my next video which will most likely be a saving challenge stuffing yeah and that focus that for this month i budgeted a total of uh, a thousand dollars that's going to be going into my saving challenges so i most likely will divide my saving challenges into like two or three videos and if you haven't yet check out my uh, september monthly budget where i allocate my money or much money to go toward my saving challenges i will put the link in the description so you can check it out yeah see you in my next video don't forget to comment like, subscribe. Until next time, bye, take care.